Hello everyone and welcome to Smash Look at Stories, The Path of Destinies. Frazier as always, and this is brought to you by Spearhead Games. So, Stories, Path of Destinies. Just want to point out before we get any further, this is currently the preview build. It does recommend strangely, but quite welcoming as well. Um, being a preview build, it has been built with like the PS4 controller in mind. I am using a Xbox 360 controller, so buttons can differ. Particular in this menu, um, the menu is not sort of driven in any sense, just want to point that out. So, there's not currently any mouse or keyboard support, but will be in the full release, just want to make that uh, apparent there. Anyway, the story is the Path of Destiny, it is an action RPG that you're placed in one hell of an awesome looking uh, fairy tale universe. Uh, the villain, uh, you know, is pretty damn good villain. I must say. You, you're going to see this in a bit. Basically, I'm going to start a new game because that's kind of what seems to be knocking me back here. Um, but yeah, you're going to have a lot of fun. Trust me. Um, you also get to pick your path in a sort of way, so I'll show you where that kind of leads to in All a second. Years ago. Also, the narrator is freaking stupendously oh, awesome. A blur. Oh, hush. And now three Raven scout ships were chasing him. Where are you running, rebel? Poured the Raven captain over the loud hailer. Renato could see them cranking up their catapults. Just going out for milk? Renato yelled back. Where can you run? Laughed the Raven horribly. Far behind him, another city was burning. The dark cloud above its island was thousands of Imperial ships. The fleet was doing a thorough job. Take us to the rebel base and we'll spare your life. It cawed. The entire jury-rigged rebel fleet was only a few islands to the east. Beyond that were only the Pillars of Heaven, a sea of endless blood-colored tornadoes. The rebellion was out of time. Unless Renardo could bring a game-changer. Maybe he could. Renardo had found out where he could find the pieces of the Sky Ripper, the legendary weapon that had exiled the Lost Gods. Surely a legendary weapon could win the final battle. On the other hand, his old friend Lepino had sent Renato a desperate message saying he had a brilliant scheme to save the rebellion. If Renato could only rescue him. Renato dived the farfarer towards the abyss. As he felt the heat of the jet stream, the raven ships peeled off, not stable enough to follow him down there. Now it was time to choose. Lepino or the Sky Ripper. Now this is a perfect opportunity now to show you guys what you actually do. You have to choose whichever one you want to do. And obviously if you take this one, you then don't save him. If you save him, you don't get the Sky Ripper. It's kind of like, hmm, okay, which one do I like? I actually went with the Pino last time. I'm going to actually go with this just this time so you guys can actually see what it's all about. So yeah, the Rebellion was out of time. Renato uh, needed a game changer. Even though Lapino wasn't what anyone would consider a game changer, you could come up with some harebrained schemes that maybe rescuing him was worth it. Let's find out. Ah, uh, Lapino. Apparently, the Mad Rabbit had sold a Pegasus that he did not exactly own. Lapino always wiggled out of trouble, given time, but he was out of time. The Ravens had figured out that Lapino was a rebel spy. If the fleet reached him first, they'd string him up for that. Never mind the winged horse. So yeah, just want to just reiterate that this is the preview build that I was quite nicely sent over um, by the developers. Obviously it's a little bit late compared to anything else because I'm trying to play catch up with everything going on. And I had just kind of recorded while I was had no internet. So you guys are getting this now when it's kind of going up, whatever. Um, but yeah, we're gonna. Be, I'm gonna show you a good bit of this. Um, I'm gonna point out that the fact that this game looks absolutely incredibly fantastic. I love the art style of the game. Lapino had apparently just, managed to just look at it. It's so colourful. Hadn't actually stolen a winged horse. He'd only sold it. But wait. Where was the prison? The village was empty. Had... Had everybody fled the ravens? So yeah, there's things you can beat up and everything. Rescue Lupino, this is your character here. There is a, a range of type of things you can do. And now if I hit, I believe... Uh, not that one. Oh, which one is it? Oh yeah. I'm using direction buttons you can change your sword. And you can actually see you can power up your swords. And it's pretty damn awesome. 
Hey, I'm a Firefox, thought Renato. Also, I do love the narrator. The narrator reminds me of Stanley Parable. It's freaking awesome. I'm just going to get that. Good thing I remember what square is. Thank you. you. Sword. Ooh. Hello, sir. Renato wondered what he could make of it. So basically, we can actually do this, and we can upgrade this. Nice. So now we have this looking like this. It's so awesome. I don't know what it is. This game looks utterly fantastic. Like it's really bright, really colourful, really amazing looking. And the combat. Wait till you get to the combat. Wait till. You see. Uh, so we get some abilities here. We can unlock as we go along. Let's head up here and see what we can do. Do do. Hello, anybody here? We just agree to disagree? Hi. Ow. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, I just didn't remember, but there we go. That's the button I was wanting. Nope. And goodbye. I love the combat. It's amazing. And oh, damn. See what I mean? Well, oh, never dead. Okay. Goodbye. Oh, hi. Oh, it's so ridiculously cool. Renato had been here at this exact place at this exact time. But this time, there were so many more ravens. Just like, obviously, I'm holding in the right trigger on a, an Xbox 360 controller, and you see the orange bar. That's basically your almost your mana, your power, your abilities. And you saw what that could do. I basically charged it as I was hitting, and it caused explosions. I love this game, and to be honest, I'd be perfectly happy in doing a full playthrough of this because it's freaking amazing. Obviously, when it releases, what is it? Can I chop these? No. No, I didn't know that bit was down there. Didn't know that was down there at all. No, uh, I can break these. Thank you. Broken, broken. Give me some health. I can then go down here if I so desire. But I'll show you a bit, good bit of the game, so you guys, you know, can make up your own mind. I. Don't believe there's a Steam link yet, but when there is one, I will obviously update the description below when there is. But I will link you to the website. Let's say I get this. Well, they really needed to redecorate anyway. See what I mean about the radar? <laughs> it's like it's so awesome. It's like it interacts with you and everything. It's just the same way Stanley Parable kind of did, and I like that. But it's like it just—I don't know. This game looks so good and plays so well. And this is a preview build. Keep in mind. And this is already a bunch of fun. Uh, let's open this. What have we got? This Goodies. Contained nothing but unmatched gloves. Shield breaker. And something more useful. Okay, what? Let's use the altar. That's maximum. That's maximum. Nope, nope. There we go. Oh, you also have a lasso, basically. Uh, hopefully, I can show you that in a little bit. Gems. Um. Okay. So, what if we put a gem there? Um. Put shield breaker there. So, what do I do? You hit your hits cause shield grunts to drop their shield. Oh, okay. That automatically in? No. That, yeah, that is automatically in there. Right. Okay. Okay. That will be nice to try out. Good to practice your moves, thought Renato. Keeps you limber. I love the narration in this game, it's superb. Firewalls mm -hmm. only let you through if they think you're hot enough. Uh so that Woo! What's there? Well let's go find out. Hmm, what was behind that door? Renato's nose told him there was treasure there. They must have forgotten it in a hurry. Surely they wouldn't mind if he helped himself to it. After all, he wouldn't even know. I didn't break anything, honest. Huh? A lever? That was new. Most people still use doorknobs. Obviously, down at the bottom, you do have your dash bar, and it doesn't seem like it's letting me do that. Hmm. There's probably something I'm missing here. I didn't come this way last time. Uh, let's try this one more time. If not, I'll just go the other way. Plain and simple. Uh, let's do that.
Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta wait a minute, dude. Way! Ah, there we go. Thank you, thank you, and I'll be having that. Dang, so much stuff. Not everyone knew how to use magical gems. Of course, not everyone had magical gem gauntlets like he did. That's one way to do it. Um, let's get that done, and we'll put that there, and get that set to increase the chance of loot by 1%. Well, that's a great increase, isn't it? Jeez. Cheers, game. Uh, let's go this way, I believe. Was it back this way? Yes, it's back this way. Uh, switch our sword. Sharp? Check. Pointy? Check. Flexible? Check. What else do you need in a sword? This game is so, so good. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. Like, even just looking at this game, the music, the quality of this sheer game, the, the animation quality, the fighting is awesome. Uh, the actual sound quality is awesome. The narration is superb. And it's just so, so good. All right, there we go. And anything in here that should know about. More food. And energy is always good to add. Oh, hi. Have this. Here, have this. Oh, okay. Okay. Switch. Nope. Not getting me. Get over here. The combat is so... Like, it's just visceral and awesome to actually just enjoy. Uh, is there anything down that way? Or, wait, they both lead the same way, right? Okay, what does this do? Nothing yet. Use the altar. I can't... I, um, can I get that yet? No, I don't have anything unlocked yet. So let's uh, just carry on. There's no just floating rocks, there's floating islands and everything going on. Anything I can actually do to this yet? Cost of crap. Need some more goodies. Right, let's get this out of the way and this out of the way. Ah, thank you. Give me that. So obviously you get your resources down there in the right hand corner if you're trying to build any of the other swords. Hello guys. How you doing? Nope. Ow. Ow. Oh no. I can lob pain and death from a distance. Really dangerous, effective cowards. Well, it's dead now. And you come here. Come here, come here. Get out of here. And you're out of here. Even to stay away from the other guy's sword, you know? Oh, we leveled up. That was nice to level up. That was nice, that was nice. But just like from even the sheer quality of even the enemies and everything going on. It's just really a lot of fun to play this. Door. Renato felt like he was ready to learn new things. Thank goodness he didn't have to go to school for that. Attack immediately when the previous attack hits to land a perfect strike. Ooh, we should have probably got that. Or that, I think. Mm, dang it. Oh well. Let's go this way. I don't have that sword yet. So I'm going to have to go the other way. We do need health, though. We're pretty damn low in health. I'm going to switch to my fire sword just now to see what we can do. Ah, uh, hi. Nope. Ow. Okay. That hurt. Actually, it already did. Oh, this is so cool. Um, let's just continue on. Give me some health. That's always nice. But I only have... Oh, dear lord. I don't have much he in the way of health. This is not going to end well. Hello there. Who are you? Come here. Dirty and bloody, Renato finally reached Lapino. The rabbit was practicing his shuffle. Renato recognized the cards. It was Lapino's favorite deck. Oh, I thought you were in danger. I am. The ravens are coming. Oh, the prison thing. 
flight jealousy, this guard owed me 53 ducats, so we made a deal. They're very reasonable people, actually, for weasels. Now, I got a brilliant plan to kidnap Zenobia. We capture Zenobia, we find out what she knows, and that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Capture the Emperor's greatest general, who also happened to be a deadly sorcerer and oh, his only daughter? That would be worth it. On the other hand, he could still get to the core of the Sky Ripper, even if he couldn't get the whole thing. It must have great power. You know, we, we don't need a super Zenobia weapon. Let's just go on Zenobia. Oh, this is going to go really, really badly, she isn't it? Oh, dear. In sword school. But I like the sort of diverting paths that you can actually take on. Him. It's really they freaking awesome. Close. She told him things no one else knew. But she never told him who she really was. She knows all the Emperor's plans. Chuckled the Master Spy. She won't give them up easily. <laughs> She'll tell the interrogators, all right. Said Lapino. Taking her would change the game, all right. And there you go, guys. Obviously, that was a short little demonstration. There's a preview build. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this little snapshot preview of the game. Thank you very much for watching this smash look of it, though. I shall see you all in the next one.